Hey everybody, happy Thursday. It's uh, not Friday, usually I come to you on Friday and I almost said happy Friday, but it's Thursday. I've moved back Facebook Live this week to Thursday because we're taking the kids to the beach tomorrow. So thank you for finding me. Um, if you're watching in the replay, hello to you as well. All right, looks like I see some of you jumping on. Very good. I have to say I have a new light over here and it's blinding me. Hopefully when we turn things around, it will look pretty good. All right, so it looks like we're in the right place. Let's see if I can find me so I can see you, your comments. Hopefully you guys are having a great Thursday. Let's see if my iPad's gonna work. Um, it's been a week. <laughs> It's been a week, um, but here we are. All right, so this week I'm gonna do three projects with music, music from the heart. This is a great set, and if you notice down here it has a little symbol, um, that means it was uh, designed by one of our million dollar achievers. Um, Don Olszewski uh, designed this one. She is a musician. She has a family full of musicians. So she designed her stamp set to uh, reflect that. It's a really great set. It has a lot of stamps and it has um, a lot of sentiments. I like when it has both sentiments and images. And uh, it, we're going to do something really fun. See the neck of that guitar right there. If you stamp it with this thing, it makes the whole guitar. So we're going to do that. Um, and because I cannot stand to not use new products, we're gonna do new in colors, new in color cardstock. So we're mixing the old, retiring, sad, and there's some other retiring things that I'm using. This one's leaving um, with the new, the new in colors, which you can't order until June 3rd, unless you buy the starter kit, you can buy them in the starter kit. Um, so retired list, last chance list, which whatever you wanna call it, we have, how long do we have? A week? and a uh, half, a week and a half left of what I call the old catalogs. Let me pull them out, these two, right here. These are leaving, okay? Oh, there's my do not disturb sign. I was looking for that. I put that on the door so the UPS man won't ring the doorbell. <laughs> um, two, um, these two, retiring. And then, so June 2nd, the last day you can order anything out of that catalog. And then the next day we transition over to the new baby. Um, and if you requested a new catalog from me, I mailed them all out on Monday. I didn't get them until, I think it was Friday last week. So we worked all weekend, labeling, packing, getting them all ready, and they went out Monday. Um, so if you requested a catalog from me, Hopefully you have it. I know some of you already have it. They went priority mail, which means like two days, two, maybe three days. So be looking in your mailbox. Um, if you didn't request one, um, let me know. You have to request because I I have so many people and I don't know who wants one and who doesn't. Um, so I need you to let me know if you want a catalog. And don't tell me in the comments here, I won't see it. Email me, okay? Email me, please. Okay, so. That goes live on the 3rd, June 3rd, and I plan to do a big live that day on the 3rd, okay? I don't know what yet, but we'll do something to kick off the catalog. Okay, um, what else do I want to tell you? Um, how about prizes? If you share my video on Facebook, you get entered into a prize drawing. And last week I had three prizes to give away, so Sharon Kramer, you have won Outdoor Barbecue. Um, Amy Rogers, you have um, earned, I can't read it backwards, <laughs> thanks for the laughs. Um, Carrie Taylor, you won Genuine Gems. Genuine? Genuine. Genuine Gems, oh, that's another tongue twister. All right, so congratulations to all three of you. Um, Amy, I know I have your mailing address, guys. I can't remember, so uh, Carrie and Sharon, I, I feel like I do, but I don't know. Message me your, your address so I can mail these out to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing my video. I appreciate it. This week I have two bundles. How about two bundles? Mountain Air, which I think is on back order. Is that right? I can't remember. Framelits, two. Dyes, sorry. They're called dyes now. Uh, Mountain Air, stamps and dyes. And the Clubhouse, stamps and dyes. Can you guys believe this is retiring? I just can't believe it. 
so cute. So share the video. I'll pick a winner. Next week, by the way, there probably won't be a Facebook Live. I'm not sure. I am next week transitioning my whole office over to the new catalog. And that is so much work. I don't know. So tentative, probably not Facebook Live next week. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Um, and then, um, where's the PDF? Over at pinkfuckaroo.com. I will update the video with a link as soon as I'm done. You can find the PDF. It is under the third photo. It has all the products that I used as well as measurements. And you'll notice some of them say sneak peek. If it says sneak peek, you can't order it until the third, okay? Um, now, if you do put in an order between now and Monday at midnight, um, I'm gonna send you the make and takes for free and you will get those little bits of in color cardstock and ribbon that I use. Um, so, that's one way to get your hands on it early is I will send you the bits and pieces you need for your make and takes. Here's last week's make and takes, a little walrus, remember? Um, I send them to you for free if you put in an order with me by Monday at midnight. Um, wait, I just missed a comment, a question. Will you be having another sale? Yeah, Debbie, um, my BOGO sale, BOGO, buy one, get one um, of retired products, I will. Usually I do the online BOGO in July or August. This year with our situation, I'm not sure how I'm gonna handle that. Um, but yeah, this summer, sometime this summer, I am pricing, I pulled all my old, or not old, all my retiring stamp sets out yesterday, alphabetized them, made labels, did all that, it took me hours. So it takes me a really long time. That's why I kind of have blocked off all of next week to work on all of that. Um, but yeah, BOGO sale will be coming, I just don't know when, probably later on in the summer. Okay, so make and takes free with a $35 minimum order and make sure you use that host code. It's on the PDF right here. It's also gonna be down here when I flip the camera. Um, if your order is over $150, if you find a lot of stuff you need to get before it's gone for good from the retired list and you spend over $150, don't use the host code because you're gonna get stamp and rewards. Okay, that's free stuff. Um, so you'll still get the free make and takes. I'll see your order, don't worry. But if it's below 150, make sure you use the host code. You know, if you don't use the host code and it's um, less than 150, I assume you don't want the make and takes. So if you don't use the host code, then I don't send them to you. Unless your <laughs> order's over 150 and I, then I just automatically send them to you. I hope that makes sense. Okay, hi guys, I see lots of my people joining. Hello, hello, good to see all of you. Um, the All-Star Tutorial Bundle, I just emailed it out today for the last week's orders. Um, it's the best dressed, it's backwards on the screen, best dressed sweet tutorial bundle um, for May 2020. All the projects use that best dressed um, bundle, which is carrying over, by the way. It'll be in the new catalog. Here's my project that's in there. Shaker um, perfume bottle box. I mean, hello, so cute. Um, I have to tell you guys funny, funny story about this. Um, we had decided this, this round of um, all-star tutorial bundle to everybody would use the same product so that the, the tutorial bundle would kind of be like my PDFs that I do, you know, where it's all the projects use one product. And when it got, when we got down to this um, product, I was like, oh gosh, I have used the heck out of that. I don't know if I can come up with one more thing. <clears throat> and I was just like, oh, but then suddenly I had a poof, an epiphany, and I thought, let's make a 3D shaker perfume bottle. So then I loved it and I was like, ah. Oh. So sometimes you never know what's gonna come out. So anyway, you get this free with a $50 purchase um, from me. I go through my orders once a week and email it out to anybody who spent over $50. And there are 12 tutorials in here, all by different Stampin' Up! demonstrators from around the world. Um, and they're step-by-step, -step. they're in Imperial and Metric, metric and if you don't order you can also buy it in my pdf store all right you can if you are like a dim if you're already a demonstrator or you already have a demonstrator and you don't want to put it in an order but you want the pdf just head over to my pdf store you'll find it okay let's see i'm going to flip you guys around and you know my ipad crashed what is happening you guys my ipad 
This is like the only thing I use my iPad for is to see y'all's comments when I do Facebook Live and it keeps crashing and telling me my storage is full. So I wiped it clean last week. I completely wiped it clean and uh, started over and it's still telling me the same thing, telling me um, that storage is full and Facebook keeps crashing. So if any of you are experts out there, please let me know. It will not update because it says my storage is full and there's nothing on there. I've deleted everything. So I need you guys, if you're a tech person, tell me how to fix my iPad. It's not that old, maybe a, maybe three years. Oh, maybe that, is that? Surely that's not too old for an iPad, good grief. Okay, so let's, um, let me talk to you about a few things. Now, do you guys, I have a new light over here. Does it look any different? I, uh, I really need to be able to see y'all's comments. Let's see, I may have to pull my laptop over here. Um, nope, not that. I got a new light. I'm obsessed with lighting, not just in here, but in my house. My husband gets so irritated because we have like a thousand lamps. Light has to be balanced in all my rooms. And <laughs> anyways, I'm a crazy light person. So in here, I'm constantly looking for new ways to do lighting. And uh, I ordered a new light. I'm just wondering if it looks any different to you, those of you that, that join me every week. Um, it's one of those ring lights. And, uh, you know, everybody's using them now. All, uh, all the people who are on TV are using them. Um, I'm trying to pull you guys up on my laptop. So sorry. Please hold <laughs> while I do that. Um, but anyway, um, so that's, um, I ordered it. And I, I don't know. I just was wondering if the light looked any different. You can make it cool light or warm light. Not that I really understand that or what I need, but <laughs> that's what it does. Okay. Um, mm, Carrie and Cheryl. Yes. I, on my iPad, do you have cookies on your iPad? And a search history. I will look into that. That's a good suggestion. Thank you. Joan, it looks brighter. Okay, good. Okay. So let me tell you a few things. Okay. We only have a week and a half left, right, of May. And so at the end, May 31st will be the last day you can join In Color Club because June 1st is when I start getting everybody organized. Um, so if you want to be a part of my In Color Club, make sure that you sign up. Um, that link is right here at the bottom of the PDF. It's also at the bottom of today's post. You don't have to pay anything to sign up. Um, on June 1st, I send you your first invoice and you pay monthly. And every month I send you a huge package of in color products, um, as well as an extra free embellishment and a handmade card. And here are our new in colors, which we'll be talking about in great detail today. Um, so make sure you check that out um, if you wanna do that, okay? And then product shares. Um, if you're not familiar with product shares, it's when you get a little bit of everything that's new. So I will order um, one bolt of all the new ribbons and trims, and you will get a yard of each one. Um, paper, I order all the new paper and cut them either, you, you have a choice, you can either get a six by six share or a six by 12 share, and you would get one sheet of each pattern, either six by six or six by 12. Um, you have to register that, you do have to pay for it ahead of time. I cannot order these until the groups are full uh, per Stampin' Up! policy. Um, so I will put that very first order in on um, June the 3rd, right? June the 3rd, turning my fan down. Um, so if you wanna be in on that first round, make sure you get signed up on that, on those, and the, those are right here at the bottom. Okay, paper and ribbon. And if you buy both, you're gonna get a pack of these for free. Aren't they cute? So cute. All right, so check, that's it. Now one more thing, one more thing. Tomorrow's the last day to register for this class. This is Angela McKay and my class, my eyes, oh, I don't know, our class. <laughs> that we did together. She designed the Positive Thoughts projects right here, and I designed the My Meadow projects right here. You can get one or you can get both from me if you're in the United States. You can get one or both of them from her if you live in Canada. Um, and if you buy both, you get a free extra goodie from us. And each, each uh, kit includes three full uh, product things, um, 
what what am I trying to say? Three full products, a bolt of ribbon, sequins, um, whatever else. You're gonna get three full products. It doesn't, they do not include the stamp set. Actually, I take that back. Not, if you buy both, you don't get something from us. It's if you buy, if you add on stamp sets, you'll get something free from us. I can't even remember my own rules, good grief. Um, if you want details, <laughs> go read the details that I typed on my blog before I had lost my mind. Um, but you can add on these stamp sets if you need them. You can use what you have. If you already have them, you can order them yourself, whatever. Um, and they include free shipping too. Um, the PDF option only is available as well, okay? This is the last time I'm gonna tell you about it because tomorrow's the last day. Alrighty, I think we are ready to stamp. Let's see if I can get my little sign straight and if I can see your comments. I'm really excited about today's projects. I always joke, and this sounds kind of harsh, but I always joke that once I get the new catalog in my hands, then the old catalog is dead to me. <laughs> <laughs> I know that sounds terrible, but I feel like that because that all I want to do is play with new products. So it's very hard for me to plan classes in Facebook Friday when I have new products because I wanted, it's all I want to do. So I thought, you know what, let's play with new product and old product at the same time. And it's funny how old product can take on a whole new look when you use new colors and new paper. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, I know that you cannot order the in color stuff yet if you are a customer, and that's okay. I'm just giving you a little taste of it. And if you get the make and takes for free, you will have the cardstock, the ribbon, um, what whatever you need, okay? The little bit of DSP, you'll have it, okay? All right, so we're using Music From The Heart. Like I said at the beginning, this is a million dollar stamp set. That means a million dollar achiever, someone who has sold a million dollars with Stampin' Up! designed. Her name is Don Olszewski, and it's super cute. Now this card we're making today features the new color Magenta Madness. Hey, and you guys, I was saying the color wrong last week, and now I'm paranoid. Hold on. I was saying Misty, Moonlight Mist, right? Isn't that what I was saying? Wait, I'm gonna look. I can't show you the catalog, but I'm gonna look because now I'm paranoid. You guys were, were teasing me. And I didn't even see it till today. Um, the blue color, I was calling Moonlight Mist. That's not it. It's Misty Moonlight. But come on, that's pretty close, right? All right, so this one's Magenta Madness, right? I'm double checking myself. Magenta Madness. and um it's bright and beautiful it's similar to our uh, melon mambo but it is brighter and purplier i think it's um it's really bright and bold and fun you might recognize this card i made this card using lovely lipstick and i don't know if i showed you guys or not i think i did because my friend anita sent me a card that was she used inspiration from that card. Anyway, I don't remember when I showed you, but this is the card that we're gonna make and we're gonna use Magenta Madness, okay? Magenta Madness, yes. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is emboss that cute little um, piano, the cute little piano keys. All right, we're gonna do it across a crumb cake stitched rectangle and across the cardstock base as well. The cardstock base is four and a fourth by 11. It's just half a piece of cardstock that I scored in the middle. And we are going to stamp it in craft ink. I'm, be, I'm looking at y'all's comments. I can see them so much better on my iPad. Okay, so I'm gonna stamp it kind of going across like that and I should put some grid paper down let's grab that so we don't have this white ink all over the place this morning my mom asked if i could babysit her little corgi puppy while she and my dad went on a, on a drive went for a drive and i was like sure of course but you have to be back by facebook live by facebook friday and you have to take my kids with you when you come back 
And she did. So it's quiet. It's very quiet here. All right, now I want these to continue on to the background. So I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it. Let's see, we'll do like that. It doesn't have to be perfect because it won't be. All right, and then we'll come over here and do it right there. And then about right there. Um, so she came and got my kids. My my oldest is working, but my other two. And they're fine. But you know what? Mama just needs some quiet time sometimes, right? <sighs> sometimes. And my little one, who is 11, she's not that little anymore. I'm putting white embossing powder on this. Um, she goes in and out of the front door, in and out, in and out, in and out, going to play basketball, going to see her friend, going to so-and-so's house, whatever. And the dog barks his head off every time the door opens. So I'm like, please go to grandma's house. And she's already texting me, when can we come home? When can we come home? Can we come home after Facebook Friday? And I mean, they've been gone like 45 minutes. Oh. They say that, um, a quarantine is an introvert's dream come true, right? Well, no, let me tell you what. I am I am pretty introverted, and it's not a dream come true because you never have that quiet time to recharge your batteries. Are any of you like that? Do you just need, like, I just need quiet. Nobody talking, no dogs barking, and, and that's how I recharge my batteries. Now, my husband's the opposite, and I think my mom's the opposite, too. They need to talk. They need to chat. They need to see people. That's how they recharge their batteries. But not me. I really, really miss <laughs> my six hours a day of them at school, like where I can think straight and, you know, complete a, a thought. You know, they're not needy. They're great kids. But it's just the noise and and you know they just come in to talk whatever and then i'm the grouchy mom that's like please stop talking they, they're ready to go back to school so bad man i hope the kids go back to school in august you guys it's starting to scare me that they might not i'm hearing some colleges have already canceled their school in the fall Cindy, you get your energy from people. Yeah, you know, my husband's totally like that. And my mom is too. My mom is too. A dream come true for us that are retired. Seems I still don't have enough time. Judy, I hear that from a lot of people who are retired. They say they still don't have enough time. Even my mom, she's retired and she's super busy. I know. Isn't that funny? Okay, so let's um, put some dimensionals on the back of this. I'm going to have to come back and read all your comments. You guys are really telling me a lot. Hi, Robin. You need quiet and alone time frequently. Yeah, it has, right? It's just changed how we... <sighs> I don't know. I love my family dearly. Don't take me wrong that I, you know... But I think we all just understand that sometimes Mama just needs some quiet time. Okay, let's... Stamp. Now we're going to stamp the little um, piano in soft suede on soft suede. And you know, later on after I made this card, I used the same colors that I did um, for the other card that I had made with the um, lovely lipstick. But I, so I used soft suede and I just thought, okay, I'll just replace lovely lipstick with Magenta Madness, but then I thought I should have used the new Cinnamon Cider. Did I get it right, guys? Cinnamon Cider. All right, now, these are the music lines, and one way to get them straight is to use your grid paper. So put your little scalloped rectangle, put it on those lines like that, and then you can kind of, and of course, I can't really see with this camera, so good luck to me. And then you can line that up there with that. You could also use your Stamparatus. And then you wouldn't have to worry about it. All right, so cute. Now, the music notes. And is my friend Anita on here? 
she's my friend and my daughter's piano teacher and she's she knows everything about music and I always now I'm worried like I'm gonna put something wrong <laughs> don't tell me Anita don't tell me all right so just you know put your notes um where's my other note I guess I have it on the other tray so we'll do this one up here and just do whatever just put them on there however make up your own song it's okay all right so now we have that Oh, you know what? I needed to stamp the sentiment on here, but I put my dimensionals on there. <gasps> okay, what do you guys think? Can I peel it off? I can. How many times have I done that? All right, don't worry. We'll fix it. All right, we're going to use um, just a note of thanks. But so we know where to put this. Let's put some dimensionals right here. And we'll go ahead and put that on like a hmm, little bit more over. Like that. And then just a note. This is really, I should have pulled out my stamparatus because this is a great project. To use it to get things lined up. Just a note of thanks. So cute. Got it straight. And no one will see that we ripped it in the back. Okay. Oh, Karen, you're enjoying your peace and quiet. Good for you. And I know, I feel it's that mama guilt. Someday you're going to miss this. I know. I know I am and I'm just I know but right now <laughs> right now I'm, I'm I'm feeling something different all right I gotta grab my scissors my little scissors this is gonna be fussy cut um, because there are no dies so just go around and this um these are drawn pretty loose um, so don't worry too much about making it exactly perfect just go around the outside of the image with your whoops do you see what I did there with your littlest scissors and you guys no clean recordings today I actually cut everything and had it ready to make those clean recordings but I had four dogs running around like crazy a lot of barking the old men the old men dogs were very bothered by the young puppies wrestling around so there was a lot of barking a lot of growling a lot of chaos so it didn't happen and I'm sorry I really do like to make those clean recordings for you guys. All right, so we're just gonna go around these little petals down here. Whoops, oh my gosh, did you see that? I was trying to look at comments and I almost cut that leg off. Whew. scary. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so we're gonna put that, oh, we gotta put up a little higher. I, 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 uh, went a little higher with the, can you see the difference right there? I went down too low, so I had to move that. Hmm, that's okay, it still works. All right, now, these things are on the retired list and they're discounted. Um, I love a clip. I love any kind of clip on, in my embellishment stash. Um, mini clips, clothes pins, whatever. And so these are fun. Um, so get them, they're like $4. They're marked way down. Um, so get them. And where's where did the ribbon go? It was in the in color thing. Let me grab it. Now, here's the in color ribbon. And I want to just give you guys a little heads up on the in color stuff. They've told us that the in color products are selling faster than they anticipated. So you know what that means. They are hot. Everybody wants them. And they will probably go on back order in June. Two of them are already on back order. All right, so get your orders ready for June the 3rd. And usually, I don't, I'm, I need to double check. Usually the catalog, the new stuff, you, can, you can't order it until the afternoon. There's some downtime where they switch over the computer. So get it ready and you'll be ready to order. All right. There you go. You know, I wish I had pulled out that 
lovely lipstick card. I wonder if I have it right here so that we could compare them. But I don't know where I put it. Hmm. Oh well. All right, but I love it in, in hot pink. What do you guys think? Cute. And it's really fun with that, um, those neutrals, soft suede and uh, crumb cake. I think so. All right, ready for the next project. Let's move on. Um, I did mention this was white craft, right? It's the uninked stamp pad that comes with a refill. I looked it up in the catalog and that's all it says. It doesn't say white craft ink, but that's what it is. I don't know. All right, hello. Thanks guys. Thank you. All right, next. Hmm, which one do I want to do? Which one? We'll save the box to the end. We'll save the box to the last one. Now this one, I told you guys last week or the week before about this new yellow color called Bumblebee. And um, I couldn't remember the color that went away that I loved. And I went back and looked and it was more mustard, which doesn't sound right, but I'm pretty sure it was. This is, I wish I had more mustard to compare it to. This is like a creamy, Hmm, I don't know, like like a fall yellow, an autumn yellow. Under this light, it looks kind of bright, but it's like a fall fall color yellow. I love yellow, so so I decided what we would do. Where's my sample? <laughs> my gosh, right here, Erica, right here. So I decided I needed to make something rock starish with our guitar, and so I paired it with a grungy yellow, um, gray, you know, like a, this could be a guy card, don't you think? I mean, yes, it has a heart, but it could be a guy card. So, so basic gray. Um, that would be a great fall outfit, right? That yellow with that gray. Mm -hmm. I always think about that. What would that look like as an outfit? Okay, so that's your bumblebee sneak peek i'm also going to show you this embossing folder it's called old world paper and it's awesome um i like embossing folders i just don't use them very often but this one and there's another new one um that came out that's so awesome so uh i i can foresee me using this quite a bit does it remind you of more mustard too? Autumn yellow. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Yeah, we're on the same wavelength, Karen. It makes you think of crushed curry, Carrie. Um, yeah, you know, crushed curry, and I don't mind crushed curry, but it's kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know, it's more orangey, maybe? I don't know, look at that. Isn't that neat? Old world paper embossing folder. Coming to a catalog near you soon. June 3rd, June 3rd. All right, now I have done some of the work ahead of time. I have cut out our, um, I almost called it more mustard. I have cut out our honey, he hello. <laughs> I almost called it hello honey. Whatever, the new color. I can't get it straight, I can't. Um, honeybee, it's honeybee. Erica, focus, honeybee. Um, now I'm like, what's this called? I'm scared, I'm gonna check. I didn't even listen, bumblebee. Oh my gosh, you guys, see why I need some peace and quiet around here? Why are these new colors so hard for me? <laughs> I need to make a sign and put it back here on my window so that I can remember. Okay, whatever the new color is, Bumblebee. There it is, Scallop Square. This is the new DSP packs. Um, these are six by six. And um, just like the other ones that we had, um, they're really cute. I like the patterns a lot, this polka dot. And then on the back, there's, um, it kind of looks like, fabric that looks like denim um, and then the other pieces have the little tiny words on them which was like some paper we had a few years ago that everybody loved and on the back it's um, kind of a wood texture so I have cut out a piece two and three fourths by two and three fourths by the way these measurements are over on the PDF on my blog just in case you didn't hear me earlier there I would never just not give you the measurements they're over there. T 
typed up and I caught a mistake right before I went live and hopefully I corrected it. Okay, so we've got that, we've got that. This was a four by five and a fourth piece of basic gray. We're gonna put it on the bumblebee <laughs> uh, card base. Again, the card base, just a piece of cardstock cut in half at four and a fourth, scored at five and a half, okay? All right, now let's make the cute little guitar. Isn't that cute? And I will tell you that it took me a minute to actually figure out how to do this. Um, I had seen it done and then I couldn't figure it out. So let me show you. You stamp that, what's this called? Treble clef, is that what it's called? Um, in basic gray. And then here's the guitar neck and you're gonna do it over like this, down here. I was thinking it went up here, but it is not. It goes down here like that. And a guitar, isn't that cute? So clever, these designers, so clever. All right, so we're gonna color it in with Smoky Slate Light. And we're gonna add a little bit of Wink of Stella to it because, you know, it's a guitar and it's rock star. Gonna make it sparkly. Treble clef, thank you, Crystal. You would never know that I spent three years in choir <laughs> in high school. You forget these things. You forget. All right. And a little wink at Stella right there. All right. Well, I have this here. I'm just going to stamp the U rock right there. And again, we're going to fussy cut. I promise the next project we're not going to fussy cut. One thing you can do is cut off all that extra cardstock to get it out of the way so that then you don't have to fight that paper as you go around it. And like I said earlier, this one's loosely drawn. There's not real hard lines. So just kind of do a little cloud around the outside of it. All the way around. Hmm, I'm enjoying the peace and quiet. Except the dryer, I can hear the dryer going. That's been a constant too. My goodness, so much laundry, so much food and groceries, so much mess. It's all right, it's okay, we'll survive. Right, we'll survive. We will survive. All right, now go around carefully. Let me cut all that extra off very carefully there we go now down here look at that you can leave that like that you know what i think i'm going to leave that like that because that was really hard to cut out last time and it looks just fine doesn't it just fine all right now this one use your trimmer i of course don't have it here so i'm just going to use my scissors cut it out just around the words oh well, we're gonna have a <laughs> trapezoid. All right, whatever. All right, now I've got a silver foil heart that I cut out in, um, cut out with one of the hearts from Stitched So, no, Be Mine Stitched Dies. And I'm gonna take the silver thread, retiring, I can't believe it. Silver thread, I'm gonna loop it around my fingers a few times like that. And then I'm just gonna kind of set it down did you see how i put some adhesive there and you want it kind of messy and i've told you guys this before when i was an artisan we all we had a conversation about how to make these little messy nests and everybody did it a little bit different um my friend kathy said she put it in her hand and just went like this to make it messy and then stuck it down which i think is so funny um, but you can move it around or you can make a, um, like a figure eight twist it put it down that's usually what i do and then we're gonna put this right there in the middle with a dimensional. You could use a dimensional to hold it all down too. I probably put too wide a swath of, of adhesive. Let's see, let's do it like that. And then I need a mini dimensional for the U-Rock right there. Yeah, Kimberly, the grocery bill, right? Oh my gosh, my kids, 
especially the teenager, love juice boxes, apple juice. I mean, I, I have teaser all the time and now they're all drinking juice boxes and they only want apple juice in the juice box, not the bottle, no, no, juice box. And I don't know any of you who buy Minute Maid juice boxes, they used to come in 10 packs and now it's eight packs. I am buying juice boxes all day, every day. <sighs> I know, it's crazy. It is crazy. All right, and then this guy can just go right there. And there you have it. You rock, isn't that cute? Oh, I love it. And I like that yellow color, whatever it's called. <laughs> Honeybee, no, it's called bumblebee. I'll remember, I was drawing a blank. That scares me sometimes. I'm like, why can't I? Oh, 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 I have something else to put in here. Sometimes I'm like, why, why can't I think of the word? All right, little piece of Whisper White inside, which I did not do last time. Um, let's um, put, I really need to be doing this more often because it really does fancy up your card um, when you put a white piece inside and then carry over the stamping. So we'll do, let's do like that. Oh, well, that's okay. That's okay, we'll fix it. Don't panic. <laughs> Don't panic. We will cover it up with some notes. Um, hey, you guys, speaking of messing up with your photopolymer stamps, I don't know if you heard, but Stammin' Up, they had retired. They were retiring the piercing mat. And all of a sudden, they said, never mind. We're not going to retire it because you guys use it a lot. So yay, that's great. All right, there we go. <laughs> Oh, I can't, it couldn't be a Facebook Live without some kind of mishap, right? Yeah, that's why it's live. Yours are Kool-Aid, Lisa, sweet tea, and sodas. Oh, yeah, you know what? I'm really lucky that my kids don't like soda. I mean, they're okay, they're like, meh, okay. My oldest hates soda, she doesn't like the fizz. Because believe me, I drink enough Diet Cokes for all of us. But uh, yeah, they just, I mean, they occasionally they'll drink one, but no sweet tea do you make your own sweet tea lisa and denise you're buying the biggest bag of reese's peanut butter thing i can find for me <laughs> yeah we denise we bought my youngest is obsessed with reese's and there was like a reese's bar mix at our grocery store h-e-b and we made it yesterday and it was really good I wish I hadn't, I wish I hadn't made it because now I know how good it is. It's a mix and it's good. Yeah, patience, hi patience. Um, yeah, mistakes all day long, right? All day long. Okay, speaking of sweets, I have a box for you, of course. What time is it? I feel like I haven't been on very long. I guess I have. Um, and I'm trying to find things that are easily found, right? whatever you can find at the grocery store. Um, so, and we've made something with this before, a turtle brownie, my little Debbie. Oh, you know what? I didn't link up the little Debbie snack finder either. If you go to little, little Debbie website, you can enter in your zip code and it'll tell you which stores in your area carry these, okay? So a little Debbie turtle brownie or whatever, whatever you want. Reese's peanut butter cups, Denise, right? Um, Belinda, you make Scott's sweet tea. You're such a good wife with lemon. Hmm. Ted likes um, sweet tea too, and I never make it for him. Lisa, you make your sweet tea? Only the girls like it. I do not like tea at all. I'm not a tea drinker at all. Okay. I have uh, burned my uh, taste buds with Diet Coke, and now nothing tastes good but Diet Coke. <laughs> Oh, I know. Don't tell me. I know. I know. It's terrible for me. Blah, blah, blah. I know. All right. Now we're going to make this box and I have a funny for you. Well, it's not really a funny. It's kind of annoying. Um, we used this color combo last week. Somebody the week before suggested it and now I'm obsessed. Seaside spray with moonlight mist. Did I say it right? Moonlight mist. No, <laughs> misty moonlight. How am I gonna remember it? The adjective comes first, misty moonlight. Okay, seaside spray with misty moonlight. We used it last week. And 
this week when I was cutting all of my Facebook Friday projects from last week, I used every last scrap of Seaside Spray. I don't have, I mean, I have maybe a piece like this big and it was supposed to come today. I ordered it, but it didn't. So we're going to have to use Whisper White <laughs> on the bottom, but just know that if you get the make and takes, I will have that uh, Seaside Spray for you. Okay. Misty Moonlight. Less. Why can't I remember it? Why, 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 why? Mm. Okay. Here are the measurements. Remember they are over on the PDF. Hopefully I, the corrected PDF is linked. See right here, I it needs to be six and a half by seven and a fourth. Where is my simply score down here? Six and a half by seven and a fourth, and we're going to score all four sides at two inches. All right, so two, 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 and two. Now to make the lid, we're going to use a shim, a little stack of post-it notes um, that's going to create just a hair's width difference in our lid than our box. Um, so I take about, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, let's do five. Five post-it notes and I put it right here. This will only work when you are scoring on all four sides. Um, if you were to score like this, it, it wouldn't necessarily work. So only when you are turning your paper, okay? So put your little shim there and um one inch this is misty moonlight the adjective comes first erica misty moonlight okay um and it was four and a half by five and a fourth all right now get your bone folder and crystal yeah this is I don't know where I learned this trick but I learned it years ago and it blew my mind all right so you're gonna um, burnish all those and then cut off the corners from from each score line over to the other score line hello Mac what do you do oh he Matt uh -uh. no sir that's my dog and he can smell in the trash that there's a bag of those veggie straws, Mac, come on. And yeah, <laughs> he's like, she's busy, she won't notice. All right, now cut the score line up to the horizontal score line on two opposite sides. You can do, you can do these sides if you want, or you can do these sides, it doesn't matter. Either way, just make sure that you do them on opposite sides. All right, so how about we use a little Tombow. I've been using a lot of Tombow lately. And did I, I told you guys, new adhesive is coming. So excited. I cannot wait. All right, we're gonna fold those in like that. And usually what I like to do, I think I might have some over here. When I use Tombow on a box, I really am finding that Tombow really, on things like this, really holds well, we have very high humidity here, so sometimes my stuff pops open, but the Tombow does not. All right, so then I like to just have some clothespins, and I think I only have two, but four clothespins like that for a couple minutes, and you got a great um, stick. It'll, it'll be perfect, and it won't pop open while you're waiting for it to dry. All right, now on the bottom, Hey, Lisa, someone else sent me a picture of those uh, Coca-Cola Tic Tacs and asked me if I had made anything with those. I haven't been to Walmart in a long time. I need to go check it out. All right, we're gonna do the bottom the same way and imagine, if you will, that this is Seaside Spray and not Whisper White because Seaside Spray looks so nice with Misty Moonlight. All right, say, we're going to do the exact same thing, okay? Exact same thing. Cutting up. And then, you know what, I think on this time, since they're so big, we'll just use Fast Fuse. Like that. And you fold them all in like that to the center and fold up that side. There we go, okay? 
All right, I'm gonna still let that lid dry. And while we wait for it to dry, let's do this part. Lucky for us, I got my paper pumpkin and look, misty moonlight. As you guys may know, um, the in color ink pads were not available for pre-order for demonstrators. And we all are like losing our minds because we don't have the inks. And so when I designed this project, I used uh, black. But then, ah, uh, I opened my paper pumpkin and what did I find? A tiny misty moonlight spot. So we're gonna use that, okay? It's so tiny, <laughs> it's hard to use when I'm used to um, the full, the full uh, ink pads. Okay, um, Whisper White and we're gonna ink this, these lines again. And um, you can use your, let's see, do I wanna start, I'm gonna start on the, well, we'll start down here, it doesn't matter. Cause I'm just gonna do a few lines and then I'm gonna punch it out. And I could have punched it out and then done the lines, whatever. They won't be perfectly spaced, it's okay. You could use your stamparatus. All right, so we've got that. Then we're gonna use the punch the Label Me Lovely Punch. And we're gonna punch it out. Let's see, get it straight like that. And let's get that music note and make some kind of fake song on here. Make sure that looks like it's dirty, but it's not. Some kind of, and now if you're a musician, you totally should make a song. <laughs> you know, some notes, like happy birthday or something, I don't know. Wouldn't that be neat? All right, now, forget your trebles is what it says. Cute, right? Forget your trebles. So Moonlight Mist, nope, Misty Moonlight. <laughs> I'm gonna stamp that right there. And let's bring that back over. And well, now we need to go back to the treble clef, which is way over here on this tray. And let me clean it. Mac, what are you doing, buddy? I don't have any food for you. I don't know what his deal is. He's loving, he's a little chunky on the chunky side, little Mac. Oh, I told you guys we weren't gonna fussy cut in this project, I lied. He's, um, he's our chunky monkey and he's old, so we have to really try to watch it. But let me tell you, now that the puppy is here, he is enjoying all kinds of puppy food and <sighs> he's a bad boy. He takes all the food away from her. Any kind of little treat that we give her, he's naughty. All right, so I'm gonna color the heart in with Flirty Flamingo Stamp and Blend. I stamped it again with the Moonlight, nope, Misty <laughs> Moonlight. Oh my gosh, you guys, don't make fun of me. I can't remember the name. All right, all the way around. This is the one we cut out last time too, didn't we? I'm sorry, I told you a lie that we weren't gonna fussy cut. I lied. Well, I didn't lie, I forgot, which is a pretty common theme. All right, around and around. And we're gonna leave that end like that. I will tell you, I'll show you just a second what I did. The first time, don't do it, don't do it. The first time I did this, I cut that right on off. <laughs> just boop, snipped it off. And you can see right here, can you see how I just glued it back together? So if that happens to you, just get out your fine tip glue pen and glue it back together. See patients, lots of mistakes. Lots, lots and lots. All right, forget your troubles. So cute. Now, we're gonna layer this on um, what we're gonna pretend is seaside spray, a piece of seaside spray that is two and a fourth by three. And then another piece of the In Color DSP. This is Misty Moonlight, and it's gonna go right in there, and it is two inches by two and three fourths right there. Okay, and we will, let's see, we'll put it together after we get the box. All right, so put your turtle brownie in there. 
and your lid should fit. It does perfectly. And you don't have to squeeze the sides. Look, fits perfectly. Okay, now let's put this on here, right in the center of that lid. <laughs> until June, okay, good, I have until June. I'm gonna make a sign that you guys can't see that has all the names of everything right behind me, right here, and you won't even know. You'll think, wow, look at her, she learned them all. All right, there we go. I wanted it kind of off-centered like that. Okay, and then, well, goodness, I didn't get any of the ribbon out. Hmm. Oh, here it is, I did, here it is. This ribbon is really nice, it's light. What are they, what are they calling it, woven? Where is that? It just says in color ribbon. I think in the catalog, doesn't it say, I don't know, but it's nice. It's light and it's a matte, you know, it's not shiny and it ties really nicely. It's a good ribbon. All right, so one last glue dot. Am I just looking at them? Well, they must have run away on the other tray, so we'll just use a glue or use Tombow again. And there you go. Now, you guys, if you have a kid, a child who is in choir or orchestra or band, how fun would these little treats be? You need the stamp set, and it's retiring. You need it. I cannot believe it's retiring because it's new. It just came out in um, January and you need it. So make sure you order it this weekend and I will send you these projects for free. Now, remember, you can order anything you want. If you already have the stamp set and you just want the make and takes, we'll order whatever you want. Order adhesive, order something else. I don't care what you order, just as long as you use the host code, okay? All right, so here are three projects and I was gonna show you, I had made one other project and I don't think that I posted it online. It was our team birthday card this month. And uh, it's cute. Black, flirty flamingo, and what's it called? Uh, Grapefruit Grove. It's such a good one. I know, it's so good. I'm sad that it's leaving. I like that color combo. All right, um, a mini s'more treats will fit in there. I've never seen mini s'more treats. I need to find those. Who makes those, Judy? All right. I need to take a picture of that, Patience. I haven't posted that on my blog. Um, twill, thank you, Heather. The, the in color is twill ribbon. What did I call it, woven? Um, all right, good. I am gonna go back and look. I'm just looking to see if I have any questions. All right, you guys, that's it. Now remember, thanks, Sue. Hi, Sue, it's good to see you. Um, remember, um, if you wanna register for that class, to go, the one I showed you at the beginning, the deadline is tomorrow. And um, you need to email me that link. I won't be, I'll check email a little bit tomorrow, but not very much, because we'll be um, traveling, we'll be at the beach. So make sure you do that sooner than later, okay? Um, and sign up for In Color Club if you like the new colors. Um, and oh, my bow fell off. And then you will um, learn the names along with me, hopefully. And you'll get lots of beautiful in color stuff. All right, you guys. Thanks so much. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Next week, um, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do next week. There may not be a Facebook Friday next week. I may just take next week off. All right? But just wait and see. You just have to wait and see. Maybe I should do a sneak peek. Should I do a sneak peek next week of new products, all new? I don't think I could squeeze one more thing out of retired last chance. I don't know. If you have a suggestion, let me know. We'll see. We'll see. All right, guys, have a great weekend, and I will be back sometime next week, probably. <laughs> Bye. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.